thank you for the applause and welcome back to the weekly Taco Tuesday where we talk all things fantasy and NFL. Uh, in years prior, we've done weekly fantasy rankings, but I said this year, uh, since I didn't do the draft video, we'll kind of do just a weekly uh, talk show type thing where instead of ranking the teams, maybe just talk about which teams stood out. And I think we all noticed that uh, Men in Black really put up a lot of points this year. Uh, as a matter of fact, Scott was texting me today saying he thought that maybe he set the all-time league record, but that was set last year uh, by Matt's team. But Scott did set a record with all-time points by drafted players, so that was pretty impressive um, for him to be able to do that, especially in week one. You never know uh, which players are going to stand out. But if you go back and look at his team, it's uh, it's pretty loaded uh, across the board. Every position is pretty solid, so he's going to be pretty tough this year. Um yeah, he's going to be a tough team. Uh, a couple other teams, you know, week one, uh, within the first hour, I think some people, uh, Missy, were a little bit panicking. Um, but, you know, just as, as the games were kicking off, I know a lot of people were probably excited. Um, like I said last week, it's good to have Tom in the week, uh, Tom in the league. He's been pretty active on the message board, uh, posting things. Uh, so always good to see that. Um, I, I was excited for the games to start. It's always just fun uh, for something to do uh, during the fall time, winter time. Um, but yeah, once uh, 1 o'clock came on, you might have had John Hansen on your screen. You might have had the Eagles-Washington game on. But after the first couple minutes, you might start panicking, like, what's going on with my team? I thought it would have been doing better. I only have five points. Like, What's going on? And I think just the best advice for any fantasy owner, especially for uh, uh, week one, is just adhere to the advice of one Michael Scott. Yeah. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everybody stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait! Everybody, just calm down. No. So yeah, like Michael said, uh, just stay calm. You know, it's happening. Fantasy football's here, but no need to panic. Uh, so. Yeah, it's off to a good start. I think Sky is right now the team to beat. I still think Steve's team is pretty good. Uh, it was a bad week for the Patriots for the Steelers tandem that he has, but he should be pretty solid. Um, all in all, I think the, the league's pretty deep this year. A um, couple of teams that lost, they had some good players that just didn't produce. And with teams not playing in the preseason now, uh, the first couple of weeks are kind of like a feeling out process for a lot of teams anyway, like preseason games. So it might take a couple of weeks for them to, to get their footing before things are finally off um, off and running and uh, starting to get their feet under them and just producing like you thought you thought they would when you picked them. Uh, we got a couple days until the next break, until the next uh, football games come on Thursday night. Um, Panthers, Buccaneers, I think it is, so that should be a good one. Uh, both on one team, so I mean, both of them don't want to start out on two. Very slim chance to make playoffs after that. Uh, so we'll see what happens then. Um, there were a lot of points. I was surprised by the Ravens, Lamar Jackson. That was uh, he only ran it two times, I think I heard. Uh, so that was pretty surprising as well. And um, yeah, the kicking game. A couple kickers uh, might have Venetary shown his age a little bit. Um, a couple other people. Uh, Will Lutz came up big last night for the Saints, 58 yarder. Uh, but sometimes, you know, kickers doesn't always, sometimes they make the kicks. Sometimes, though, uh, like on kickoffs, thankfully, a lot of them are touchbacks now because sometimes stuff like this can happen. In a precarious position, he came back in at 11 second half of the season sacks. Here's Banks after a 49-yard punt, made by the crease, and now gets inside. He gets home. This is Richter scale stuff. Also, traffic. I don't get it. Like, if everyone's going fast on the highway, how does it stop? If there's no accidents, just everyone merge on. How is there traffic? Scott, you know what's up. I know during the draft, the big thing was uh, James Conner over Christian McCaffrey. And it's only week one, but McCaffrey definitely showed uh, he's definitely going to get a lot of touches this year. And Conner, again, rough start for the Steelers. Um... Yeah, we lost to Bobby every week. Every year we play Bobby first week. It seems like he beats us every week. Uh, so that was kind of a bummer. We're looking to bounce back again.
And there weren't too many injuries, I don't think, for big-name players. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott signed right before the game started, so that was huge. Um, Melvin Gordon still holding out, but Austin Eckler did pretty well. Uh, there were... It, it was kind of weird. I was looking at the injury reports, and I noticed there were three people who broke their clavicles. Uh, Nick Foles, one of them. So... Uh, hopefully they return soon, but it was just odd seeing so many people with kind of the same injury and, and break happen. It was just like, what's going on here? But then I was watching NFL Network, and I was like breaking down film, studying it, and then I noticed something that on one one of the coaches on every sideline was wearing a blue jumpsuit, and it was Phil Weston. And we will go to those tapes right now to show you what I mean, Phil Weston was on the sidelines this weekend. I don't want winners out on the field. Who's a winner? I said, who's a winner? Yeah. Everyone's hand should be up. I am. Okay, everyone bring it in. Who are we? Tigers. What? Tigers. All right, let's break someone's clavicle on three. One, two, three, break That's someone's three. clavicle. Hit the field, let's go. Your dad's a trip, you know that? Move it, move it! Huh? Pick up that piece of trash, Tom. Tuck in your shirt! What are you doing? Have a sense of pride, huh? In fact, why don't you take a lap? Go run a lap! I'm timing you! Pick it up! Faster! Here we go! So obviously, with him giving a pregame speech like that, there are going to be some some major injuries. I mean, how can you not get up for the guy? Uh, if you don't, you're taking a lap and getting a juice box for him. So, yeah. But in all seriousness, we pray that those players who did get injured, uh, Nick Foles obviously won the championship for the Eagles, um, do pray that they get healthy soon. And um, with that, we just look forward to another week two in fantasy football. Hopefully, if you lost last week, you can turn it around this week. And if you won, keep it going. Enjoy.